today but I'm not complaining I have been waiting for summer and it's here it was 95 today I hope all of you guys are able to stay cool today and comfortable all right guys guess what today is the first of July isn't that just crazy crazy I tell you this year has just gone by so crazy fast that I I'm just I'm just shocked at where we're at. We're, we're half of 2019's already gone. Yeah, I know. So, and my son, he'll be 14 in just a few days, five days. And I haven't even gotten him anything for his birthday yet. I'm slacking. But you know what today is though, though to, today at nine o'clock this morning, we released our July customer kudos. We love monthly specials, right? I know I do. I know I do. And we have um, got another fantastic bundle for you. And in this bundle, bundle, you're going to be so surprised what's in it. This is going to be your perfect get up and go deal. Your perfect weekend trip, get up and go kit bundle, perfect weekend bundle, perfect vacation bundle, perfect everyday bundle. We have a couple good perfect um, everyday bundles, but this one literally is, um, this one is number one in my eyes. So let's go ahead and review what our July customer kudos is, okay? All right, we have, Da, 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 da. Boom! Our rose water toning spritz. Guys, if you have never ever used rose water, rose water is amazing for your skin. Rose water will clean and calm the skin. It'll make it feel refreshed and it's gonna feel soothed and like it has just received everything it needed to make it comfortable and workable. As soon as you use the rose water toner, your skin, you're just gonna go like, wow, my skin just got a good drink. That's what it feels like to me, just like it just got a good drink. It's not a, really a moisturizer, but it still, it feels like it could be one. And guys, you know what? Um, I learned that we can use this on sunburns. I haven't had the opportunity to try that yet because I haven't been burnt yet this year. Well, lo and behold, guess what? I got cooked on Saturday. We were out at the ball field all day long and I got cooked. Can you tell? See all my redness, all this, all my arms and my legs. My legs are about like this right here in front and they do hurt and guess what lo and behold I remembered what I learned about this product that you could use it on the sunburn so I tried it guys this stuff was amazing it was amazing you know like I was just telling you it soothes your skin soothes your face and everything oh my gosh it did the same thing for my burnt skin my skin was just like really really hot and um, by, by the end of the night by the end of Saturday night my skin was really hurting because I was burnt so bad this gave me relief I sprayed it on and I lightly rubbed it in I didn't feel very good but you gotta taste the good with the bad but I sprayed it on and I rubbed it in and I did this a couple times before I went to bed because I wanted stuff to work fast. But um, it really did the trick on my sunburn and I'm still using it. Because a matter of fact, here's my itty bitty bottle. It's almost empty because this is what I've been using um, on my skin, on my sunburn. It has been wonderful. 
wonderful and I'm going to probably finish it up tonight or tomorrow this is gonna be rest of my sunburn treatment but this toner is amazing guys so getting back to our customer kudos for this month our fabulous rose water toning spritz and then we have our mineral touch liquid foundation our foundation comes in 19 different shades I think it is and you can get liquid or you can get powder you have your choice liquid or powder foundation into customer kudos okie doke and the next wonderful product my daughter here I think she's bored can you tell shame on me for not entertaining her right all right our next wonderful product is our mood struck or touch yeah mood struck blushers i only have two colors two colors here ladies yep and we have six colors in our blushers and remember a couple months ago when they relaunched the new formula the new formulas are wonderful they glow up they they glow on they go on nicely they don't look blotchy they're not hard to blend in and they wear the longest I've worn one it was like 10 to 12 hours yes that's a long time so our customer special is these three fabulous products rose water toner liquid or powder foundation I can't hold everything or a blusher and a blusher okay and it is 20% off and we are going to play around with all three of these products tonight okay so I've already got a little bit of moisturizer on and we're gonna pretend that I already used my toning spritz I've got moisturizer on and I am going to put a little bit of face primer on. Face primer, remember this is your, your base coat to any foundation application. If you're using powder, stick, liquid, um, a BB cream, any kind of foundation, I recommend a primer. This is going to create that flawless base for you. It is going to fill in any cracks, any dry spots. It's going to smooth out all of the imperfections in your skin that might be there. And it helps you with blending out your foundation it helps with your foundation application you don't have to rip and tug it helps it go on smoothly and easier and even with just the face primer after you put it on let it dry for a few seconds then go back and fill your face it is really 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 soft it is amazing what our face primer does remember this is your base coat to any makeup application okay all right so we have that on we are going to use one of our products from our July kudos it's our liquid foundation and I always just roll mine in my hands for a few minutes for a few minutes 30 seconds 60 seconds just to blend it all together because you know you know when a product sets it it likes to divide and settle into different sections. Okay, and then it's a twisty lid and it's a dropper. So I twist the lid off, then I take the top and then I just squeeze it. I, and the reason I squeeze that after I open it up is because we get the air out of there. And then you squeeze the dropper. That gets all that product that's been sitting in there back down into the bottle. And then I close it back up and I give it one good shake. 
That way everything's blended nicely, okay? So, I am going to use my application brush. These are really nice to spread your foundation. And I like a brush mainly because you don't waste your product this way. You can use a sponge if you choose. And we have what we call blendy buds. They look like this. I've got a container here. Let me show you. Blendy buds like this. They come in a container like this. See that right there? You get a small and a large one. Um, but I prefer a brush because then your product's not gonna soak up into the brush versus if you put it on with a sponge, your sponge is gonna soak up some of your makeup, okay? All right, so I'm gonna squeeze up some foundation. And what I always do, I just put mine on my hand because I like to drip it all over the place. And I just work from my hand. See, there's my product. And the color I'm using for summer is called Chiffon. And our foundation dries to a soft powdery finish. So I am going to start on this side of my cheek. And here we go. And you can go in circles if you like. And the best way to get it thoroughly blended is to start from the center and work your way out. Work way up into your hairline. And I'm just going to use mine as concealer tonight. And make sure you blend down through your neck so you, it looks natural and flawless. Look at that already. We only got, we got one side done already. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Look how pretty. And look at the finish. It doesn't look fake. It doesn't look blotchy or anything like that and it even covered up most of my sunburn. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? All right, so we're going to go to the other side. I know in the next couple days, guys, I am really probably going to be peeling. And then I'm really going to have to I'm going to get some more foundation. I'm really going to have to probably use my exfoliating mask to get all that dead skin off. All right, we are working in circles and we're going from the center out. And we're making sure we're blended through the neck. And I'm using this as my concealer, guys. Okay. And I've got that other side done. Look at that, isn't that amazing? Look how pretty. And look at the the glow I'm still getting out of my skin. That is from our skincare. And even though I'm sunburnt, my skin is still glowing, which amazes me completely. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to cover my red up as well on top as I did on the sides. I may just have to add a little bit more foundation to cover it all up. Let's get a little bit more. And like I said, there again, guys, work it all the way up into your hairline. And remember the um, face primer really helps you get your product blended and it keeps it from settling into your pores. Wow, look at that. I got my red nose covered up too. I tell you guys, this foundation, when we were running the promotion a month or so ago with the, um, the concealer, I think it was, you could take our concealer and our foundation and you could literally cover up tattoos. Yes, you literally can cover up tattoos with our foundation and concealer. Isn't that amazing? It's incredible, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, I think we did good. We have, I think, every spot covered. I'm not taking it all the way down here, guys, to blend it in. I'd probably have to take the whole bottle to cover that red up tonight. Look at that. See how red I am still down there? That's what my legs look like still. Yeah, it's a bit ugly. All right. 
look at that look at the coverage look how that covered up my redness might need a little bit more on my nose and guys and remember all of our products are buildable so it's best to start out with a little bit because you can always go back and add a little bit more if you need to okay so there you go you have the liquid foundation and guys it doesn't feel heavy my face doesn't feel like I have anything on it's really light and like I was telling you it dries to a nice powdery finish and guys it's actually dry now it didn't even come off on my hands and I figured it would take a few extra seconds with it being hot but it did not and it is it's really soft and it's light and it feels good on my face even though my skin is burnt it feels really good it's not irritating or anything like that so that is our liquid foundation all right so I have two blushers what colors should we use pink or orange and guys our blushers the colors we have four other colors do not let the colors scare you because um, they do blend very 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 well they are very pigmented so you only have to use a little bit and remember to build up to the color that you want don't go in and just throw a big old blob on it's easier to build it up than it is to blend it down because by the time you have blended you've rubbed off all your foundation you rubbed off all of that underlying primer everything and so then it then it's going to be hard to really blend it so I think what we're going to do is since I am red well it covered up a lot of my redness I think we're going to do the orange one all right so I'm going to get my brush here's my blush brush and this color that I have is called supple supple s-u-p-p-l-e supple supple I don't know how you pronounce that professionally supple all right see here's a little bit of blush and let me find a piece of tissue here and I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show you how pigmented these colors are these blushers are all right I have absolutely nothing on my brush here is my blusher I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to just tap it in two times okay and look matter of fact this might even be too much we might have enough for both sides so let's see what happens okay we're gonna go I always go suck in like a fish and apply right here on your cheekbones we're gonna go up and out up and out I always go in a circle and I'm gonna apply just a little bit more so you can see it and I do have enough for both sides but I may need a little bit more to even it out so you might only have to do one little dab on this blusher folks because they are very pigmented and look at this look how nice that has blended and I am barely touching my face look at that so would you think that this is this color on my skin no absolutely not that's why I say the colors are really surprising once they go on there's not one color that I don't like they're all very pretty this one here is my favorite overall though so they do go on very nice and they're not blotchy as you can tell see not a bit blotchy it doesn't look cakey and then when you throw a setting powder in at the end of your makeup application it's gonna last you anywhere from 8 to 12 hours if you're oily it may not last as long you may have to go in and touch up but it but still it's not going to it's not going to disappear you're going to like, like some days you know you look at your makeup you're like where the heck did my makeup go yeah exactly well it's not going to do that it is going to stay there and that's what the face primer helps to do as well all right so there we go 
This is the customer special. We have the rose water toner. This will clean your skin after you have cleansed it. Just spray it on and take a tissue and wipe it off. And then you have your liquid foundation. You have the choice between liquid or powder on the foundation. We have 16 to 19 different colors, I can't remember. And the blusher, what did I do with my blusher? Okay, well I closed my orange one up, so we're gonna use the pink one. And the blusher. You get all three of these products at 20% off. This is your perfect get up and go bundle. Your perfect weekend away bundle. You don't have to pack anything else. You might pack a cleanser and besides that you're set. Okay, this is this is perfect to finish your summer out. You have everything you need. And all these products, like I said, will last you eight to 12 hours. And the foundation is really light, powdery and soft. And you see the coverage that we got in here. My face was really burnt. See, look at my neck. That's how red my face was. And look how well my foundation covered it up. It is amazing. And on my lips, my lips are a little bit burnt. So I've been using my Best Bud, the lip exfoliator. This one's from the Christmas deal. That's why it looks like a candy cane. I have been using this, I don't know how many times a day. And you rub it on your lips. And it's got little sugar granules in it. And it's got some a peppermint oil in it. It's got emollients and oils. Just a minute and you're going to take your lips and you're going to rub them together for 30 to 60 seconds. Okay, and what this does, by rubbing your lips together with those little sugar granules, you're getting all that dead skin off. And it literally takes off all of the dead skin. And my lips got burnt over the weekend as well, so they have been terribly dry the past two days. This has been a lifesaver. I have used this. I haven't hardly really used a lot of lipstick because right now just they're just burnt. They're just burnt. So I've just been using this. This will become one of your best friends. If you have not tried it, I really encourage you to try this. This will be your BFF for um, any lipstick product that you use. And um, like use your exfoliator first, then your lipstick. Exfoliator first. And then a lip gloss, exfoliator, um, lip stain. Whatever your lip product is, I recommend exfoliating them first. Because this, in other words, like the primer's base coat to your any makeup foundation, this is going to be your base coat to any lipstick application, any kind of lip product application. Because it sets them up in a good way. They're nice and soft. And all the oils and emollients in this product deposit into your lips. They do it while you are it's all going in there. And if you want to take a tissue and wipe it off, you can. But I always lick mine off because it tastes good. And um, our regular one is, uh, I think it's a, a sweet flavor, peppermint flavor, I'm not sure. But I know mine is a peppermint. It tastes good. So that is um, food for thought. You can get this for, um, I think it's like $21. And I have not even went through one yet. And I got it back at Christmas. And I use it every day. Every day. And you get the full size. And it twists up at the bottom. And the Raker packaging is black. It looks like a big fat crayon. That's what it looks like. All right. So this is what I have for you tonight. And also guys, um, I forgot, we had just got our Kabuki brushes back. That is this amazing brush. You are going to love this brush. It is baby soft. And you can use this for any kind of foundation application that you like. If you don't care for this one, it's more of a flat one. It has been used already, like you can tell. 
Um, this one here, I reckon, recommend more for our stick foundation, which our stick foundation is fully stocked as well if you want to get in on that. But this blends your foundation very well and it's nice and soft and um, I think you will really like it. But it's in stock finally. We just got it back in today. We have limited quantities. If you are interested in this brush, let me know so we can get some ordered because they flew out the door last time and they have been on back order for two months. So we just now got them in. So food for thought. All right, that is our deal. Customer special, rose water toner, foundation, and blusher, 20% off. And Kabuki brushes are in. And I have the lip exfoliator that would be a BFF for any lump product that you have. So if you have any questions, just comment below. And I hope you have a great evening. Feel free to share my video. Um, and I think that is it. So I hope you have a wonderful evening and I will talk to you later. Bye.